Hey, good day, family. Welcome to the 35 of our Love Revolution Fearless Edition. We thank God for His goodness and His mercy, how far He's kept and sustained us. We're running off this journey this week, and as we're going through, I'm reflecting on this whole journey. John 3:16, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son to die for us. That was just a demonstration of fearless love. Now, why did God do that? Because he had a big picture in mind. So today I want to share something on the fearless love has a big picture in mind. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Bible says that since we are surrounded by such great cloud of witnesses, we should lay aside every sin and every weight, every hindrance. There are certain things that hinder us from living fearless love. Bible says that we should throw all those aside and we should behave like Jesus. How did Jesus do it? Bible says that who for the joy that was set before him. Jesus saw you and I being saved. Jesus saw the enemy being defeated. He saw sin broken. He saw this virus dead once and for all. He saw things shift around. He made, he saw all these things happening. He saw us being brand new. He saw the Holy Spirit coming to live in us. He saw a brand whole new thing. He saw a new people who were empowered because of what was going to happen. He went all the way to the cross willingly. And that's the attitude we want to emulate in these times. As we go through this week, as we've gone through this journey, there's one, one of our desire that we are going to come to a place where we're going to realize that there is something ahead which demands our fearless love. And then when we put our eyes on that picture, it makes the price so worth it. So I challenge you concerning your marriage, see the end of God being glorified in your home. Concern your relationship with your children. See the end of they becoming who God wants them to be. Concerning the ministry, the calling God has given you. See the lives that will be transformed. Concerning even the vision God has put in your heart that you see in challenge, your education, whatever it is that you are struggling with. Begin to look at the picture ahead. And then whatever it takes, give it your own home. Let nothing distract you. I challenge you, don't even let the noise of this virus distract you because it will pass. And when it pass, we want to make sure that we've lived a life that's, that is pleasing. May the Lord bless me, stranger, as usual. So what's going to be your action plan for this week? It's so simple. I want to keep the big picture in mind. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to bring my vision to pass. And remember, I want to share this video with somebody else. I pray for you as you go through this week, this holy week. May the reason why Christ came may become so manifested in your life. God bless you and have a wonderful day. I'll come your way again tomorrow. Bye-bye.